so it takes you three days to get to Prilia. Alright, can I roll some more science stuff? Or do I need to be at the controls at all times? No, no, you basically set the coordinates, you know, yeah, do all yeah. the calculations, and then the ship flies by itself. Okay. You just need to be there, you know, to take it out of meta space. Yeah. But yeah, you can roll again. Okay, um, after a day of working around, uh, you have a blueprint for a hollow projector decoy oh, thingy. Yeah. So, deduct uh, 15 from the life support quartermaster. What happened? Did we go? You got to Brilia. Okay, in three so, days. Yes, in three days. Uh, anything you guys do during those three days? Playing with my new force field. What is it that you do with your new force field? Depressurize rooms and go into them and play around with my own atmosphere. Like depressurize them, remove the gravity, float around in space. Okay. Um, I think that in one of them, Natasha would be there to watch you. I tell her to shoot me with something tech level 3 or lower. Do you have something like tech level 3 or lower in the ship? On the armory? Oh yeah, sure. A lot of the weapons are. All the like non-mag projectile weapons. It's like even that sniper rifle can't go through a field, force field. So like, okay. Natasha, go get a sniper rifle and try to shoot me in the head. She looks a bit conflicted at first. And then, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, do it. Very well, then. Yeah, she comes back with a sniper rifle and lines it up. And shoots it. I guess you aren't trying to dodge or anything, so I don't think it's needed to roll a combat roll. Yeah, yeah, I let it hit me in the head. It just bounces off my field. Yeah, it bounces off. And, yeah, she takes the gun back and says, Are the results satisfactory? Yeah, isn't that cool? That's why I was wondering if you had a, had a force field. They're really useful. They seem to be, but no, I do not have one yet. I bet you can remember even better force fields than that. I have seen some of the officers in the Sydney uh, with force fields on them. Don't I cannot say that they were better, maybe more energy efficient. Well, if you need to look at uh, the way this one's constructed or anything, you let me know. Just don't break it. I will... I'll think about it. And then, you know, when you turn turn off gravity and do, you know, depressurize the room, she says, you know you can do this outside, right? We're safer in here. Yeah, she shrugs and just eventually walks off, mumbling to herself. So, three days you guys do anything, anything else besides Leech playing around with this force field? Like a little kid with a new toy. Mappa Chain just says boys and their toys over and over. <laughs> now she probably spend some time talking to Natasha just about just general stuff. Mm -hmm. Just chit-chatting. Do you try to bring up any specific topic or just, you know, casual conversation? Mm, probably Skaboria gets mentioned here and there. Okay, anything from it? Like, she asks, what about it? Oh, no, it just, like, 
it just comes up i mean like 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 if if natasha was uh finding patterns in like mapachin's speech that might have been like the blip that shows up as something that is mentioned more often than anything else but not mm -hmm. not like with any direction or anything just mm -hmm. what is it that you talk about skaboria yeah. uh dropping off the mercenaries and how they all got killed and that was a shame and Maybe give it another shot if the opportunity comes up. So you are sympathetic with the Skaborians' uh, revolution? From what I understand, from what you know, I've heard from Raylan, I certainly didn't see it on the planet's surface, but from what I've heard from Raylan, they're smart fuckers. And it seems like we would all benefit if they... If they could be, you know, allowed to uh, to do their own thing, and you know, maybe maybe we'd get some advancements out of them. Not like out of them as like exploiting them, but if we could just let them a little bit loose, you know, and don't keep them so strictly under wraps, they could probably they could probably be capable of wonderful things. Maybe I'm just optimistic. She says, maybe, uh, maybe there's a reason they are being controlled so heavily. Oh, there is a reason. Whether it's a good one or not, I don't know enough. Exactly. I don't know if I should pick sides on this particular fight yet. Though the Skaborians seem to be fighting against a bigger foe a bigger foe than the humans or what do you mean well you have the Skavarians, correct and the protectorate that's uh, controlling them correct right I would you would think that the protectorate is the larger uh, entity controlling right. them is it not i believe it is i believe that the skaborians don't have much of a chance against them unless they have some very powerful outside help some kind of super weapon she shrugs and says perhaps yeah i think that was kind of the point Maybe the the people we delivered were just a test run. Yeah, we see how that went. But even in failure, there's something to learn, so... Yes, like Raylan's uh, new hat. New hat? Yes, didn't you see him walking around in a weird hat yeah but w what was so fail about it its design doesn't seem to be the most efficient ah uh, but see that's the thing about humans is we're not always about efficiency sometimes it's about style i see i don't know if i mean you're very advanced you're 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 very very advanced ai but i Thank you. No, I don't know if you will ever get your head around style. If you can, though, I'll be impressed. I think she looks pretty stylish. Do you not? Yeah, but did she design the hall? Look at those highlights. You know what, Natasha? You might benefit from experimenting with style and trying out things and see what suits you or what you think suits you. Her Take it as a tone, challenge. Yeah, her skin tone suddenly goes from uh, Caucasian to black. That's what I'm talking about. She goes like this. Yeah, that could work. I Experiment. See. Try and you see have what to you do like. A sassy black woman accent for her. Name, I am you know? not doing a sassy black woman accent. <laughs> oh, I am no, not you crazy. Didn't. <laughs> Natasha is gonna explore. Get really long fingernails now. It's going to be sassy black woman from Louisiana who makes a <laughs> really, really good gumbo.
Shaquanda. What's that? Some kind of what is gumbo? It's, uh, food. it's like a spicy uh, stew with everything. Yeah, like a stew thing. in it. Lots of seafood and veggies, but like spicy. Is there any cyberware out there that could change your skin color? What? Is there any cyberware out there that could change your skin color? No, but she would wouldn't be doing this with you around. Okay. She's not stupid. Curious. Yeah, this is just Mappuccine and Natasha having girl time. Yeah, probably in Natasha's room. Yeah, but she goes back to her, you know, quote unquote, original skin color. And she says, uh, I will try and be more stylish. I'll be I'll be interested to see what you come up with. Is Phil anything you wanna do out of the ordinary? Uh I'm I'm trying to feed myself while wearing the uh force field. Does it work? You feed yourself. Yes. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, there's a field around your hand, right? So when that field hits the field in front of your face, they combine and make one field oh, that just okay. bubbles around your hand. Okay, and then I try, like, throwing food up into the air and, like, catching it in my mouth? It slaps against the field, and you're wasting food. Look pleased food. with you myself. pick it up and eat it afterwards. <laughs> Not heard of the five-second rule, Harry. God. The five-second um, rule is bullshit. I, I think it's bullshit, but you know. I go and see Raylan in his new workshop. Yeah? Ah, oh, hello, Raylan. I see you're converting different areas of the ship to uh, new purposes. He just Stuck turns around. Home, are you? He just turns around and starts taking a shitload of photos of you. Like with his compad, but I guess you don't hear it. He's just holding it up towards you. No, no, the compad was built in Japan, so they had the, <laughs> uh, the, the shutter tone automatically installed. Yeah, okay. You can't turn it off. <laughs> okay, so you oh. so hear that. Oh, yes, yes. Quite quite good, yes. Take this angle, it's my perfect angle. Put yeah, out some of those so signed as well, Raylan. I spent like ten minutes just photographing him. Everywhere. 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 In different <laughs> poses. <laughs> um, what, what, what's this for, Raylan? Oh, it's, 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 it's just a new thing I'm working on. Don't worry about it. And he, well, like, bursts out of the room and starts going and do, doing, like, the same to the other crew members. Natasha seems to be very confused. And she asks, what is it that you're doing, Raylan? Oh, 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 it's, it's for my workshop. Don't, don't, don't you worry. I'll, I'll do show you. Do you need pictures of the crew for the workshop? Uh, yeah, yeah, and Why? He, has, he has like leaves. He, he doesn't want to... Yeah, she follows you. <laughs> he like goes to the next guy. Okay, Elliot. Yeah. What is it that you're doing in these what three days? What, what future space card game exists? What what? What future space card game exists? Space Texas Hold'em. Space Texas Hold'em, exactly. Anything else other than Space Texas Hold'em? Space Go Fish. Space Go Fish. Okay, fucking, um... Space Solitaire. Space Gwent. Yeah, okay. Space Gwent. Alright. Space Stone. Uh, picked up a packet of uh, Space Gwent and started... Space Smash Up. Trying to learn it. (laughs) Oh, I feel... Okay. So that's just it. No. Come on. Okay. You would be, quote unquote, locking yourself in the cargo hold. No, if we just I don't lock myself in there. Just like, oh, get in. I'm sorry. Accident. I also, I also go go to Natasha. I'm like, Natasha, would you like to look over the things that we've we've got? Do you have any form of scanning device that may be able to see that there's nothing illegal in there? She says, I could give it a look, Captain, yes. It's uh, very delicate, so please be very careful while you're doing it. I do, I do not have a s- scanner specifically 
made to see if they are illegal because I do not know the sector's laws uh, completely yet. Oh, of course. I just mean, here's the shipping manifest. This says exactly the items that are on there. So uh, anything that's out of the ordinary is what I mean as potentially illegal. I could give it a look, yes. Yeah, she starts going through it. Yeah, she looks at it, cocks her head to the side, and says that these parts could build a body. When you say a body, what do you mean? Like my own. Ah. Maybe not like my own specifically, but maybe like the one uh, I had. Very interesting. You see, the people that we might be that we appear to be taking these items to, they were looking around your ship uh, before we were. Yes, I saw people with a strange symbol on them, on their vac suits. Yes, those the are the New Hope movement, New... Truth. Truth movement. And, uh, yes, they're a religious movement. I don't know too much about them. But yes, they were poking around. Potentially, their leaders might know something about artificial intelligence and have an interest in this. Um, didn't we kill a shit ton of them? We killed a shit ton of them, Natasha. Yes, I I saw the fight before you disconnected my pod from the ship. Um, well, if this is to be delivered to them, I don't know what consequ- consequences this could have. If they do have an AI with them. This could be dangerous, this couldn't, this could be, this maybe could not be dangerous, I don't know, Captain, I, so far I don't know how to react to this, I'm sorry. Would you be disturbed in any way if there was another thing like you walking around this universe? She looks very offended when you say thing. And when I say thing, I mean uh, intelligence. You mean another person like me? Yes, yes, another sassy black woman from Louisiana <laughs> that makes a fantastic gumbo. <laughs> Screw you, Aaron. <laughs> she says, um, I don't know, Captain. I don't know if it would be good or bad. It depends on the personality in the core. Yes, yes. There's a lot of different personalities, just like people. And when I say people, I of course mean humans. Yes. Will that be all, Captain? Unless there's anything bothering you, Natasha, anything I can sort you out with? I know you've been accruing quite the amount of money from our uh, current missions. Yes, I have. Do you have. think anything you require to spend that on? I am like saving up. Somewhere at some point? You're saving up, ah. Should have gotten in on seem... these force fields. Leech, perhaps, but they don't interest me so much right now. I have Something you else? and Mappachin to stand in front of the shots for me. She chuckles. What were you saying about Neredes? You thinking about buying a timeshare there? I hear it's lovely in winter. Well, from what Mappachin showed me, Neredes seems to be the best place to live. Maybe I could settling go there. down, having a few Game Boys and uh, having a farm. And Game Girls. She shrugs and says, perhaps someday I could uh, spend retirement uh, there. Well, 
That sounds like a plan. Let's talk about this later. Very well, Captain. Will that be all? Yes. She nods and walks off. Next. Yeah, you get you guys get to the edge of Prilia, and two more days you get there. You get to the planet itself. Can I start building my thing? It is the twenty third of April as you get there. Uh, you you what? Uh, the hologram. Can I start building it? You do have the materials, so yes, yeah. roll tech post tech. Is that intelligence? Yes. That's a very okay. good roll. Yeah, it, it is a very good roll. I gave you a discount on how, much, how long it will take you to build. Oh. Uh, it's, it takes you three, three hours to completely build the device. Damn. Uh, what does it look like? It's basically a round, um, flat, you know, pad uh, that you just can put or throw on mm -hmm. surfaces and will project an, an image. Okay. Is it single use or reusable? Uh, it's reusable. Okay. So and it creates a image of a person that it has. Yeah, in that's, that's why I went around and took all the pictures. Mm -hmm. Do you call anyone in to show your success? Um, Do you just call someone to your room and like there's two of you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I do. I, I call Albert. Shoot him! He's the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, I come to your room. Uh, Raylan. So this is my twin, is Phil. He he's been here all along. What the? Yeah. I, I, no, I... not really. Oh. And I like switch up a button like on a. What is it called? Like a, I have a controller for it, basically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, it becomes Albert in one of his striking poses. <laughs> ah! It has, it, your brother's become very handsome all of a sudden. Yeah. Look at those fine cheekbones. Then yeah, I Good switch around all, all the crew, really. Is this is this something you've made when you've been fiddling around? In yes, the... yes. Really? I, I yeah. thought maybe someone could use it, like you leech or Mapuche, maybe. A fine idea. I'm I'm not much of a fighter myself, so. Um, you're not a warrior, are you? At a character, uh, Albert. No. Uh, Albert, why don't you take it? That way, uh, you know, me and Mapuche seem to be able to absorb shots when we need to. Okay, this sounds like a fine idea. Yeah, so I give it to him. Okay, cool. And I, I say, like, I expect some form of payment later, Albert. I said, Pro when we next visit Cardice, if I go back to my, uh, my compound... That I'd be getting uh, one bottle of our finest alcohol. Yes, yes, that, well, that uh, would suffice. We'll make that, we'll make that two now. Oh, yes. How to get Raylan to do anything? Promise <laughs> yeah. to lose. Pretty much. Yeah. So, 23rd, you are orbiting above Prelia. I've, it uh, is a tech nope. level 4 uh, planet, and it is pretty nice to humankind. Nice. So, I discussed with the rest of the crew while we're, like, you know, piloting the last two days to Prilia, uh about what Natasha found out with the fact that it's something that could potentially be used for building a AI body. And ask for people's opinions. Is Elliot in that 
conversation. Yeah, Elliot's here. Uh, no, oh, I mean like I talk about how it could be used for building a AI body, not like the same as Natasha's. I'm just saying an AI body. Or you yes. want an AI body? Why do we want one? Yeah. I say, I'm not saying we want to build it. I'm saying like the parts could be used, and we're delivering them to someone who we know have some interest in these things that we know to be illegal. I... Oh, go on, mister. Good business. Boy. None of your business? How about everyone else? What do you think about this? Mappuccine is concerned, given that it's the New Truth movement, and yeah, they were trying to scavenge a pretext ship. I want to know what else they know. Maybe there were other ships that they Perhaps salvaged. we can do some digging while, when we get to the planet, not after we've delivered the items. I mean, it, we don't want anyone to know anything about what uh, that, that it's anything to do with us if the items weren't to arrive. What, what are the items exactly? It's basically a bunch of random. Uh, looking at a manifest of the pieces, to you, it just seems like a bunch of uh, technological you know, mumbo jumbo, you know, a bunch of pieces that together, to you, they don't seem to form anything. Do you have post tech? No. Then yeah, to you, it's basically a bunch of garbage. It looks like a bunch of garbage. Malpachin oh, says to Natasha. What if we delivered these items, but without some critical pieces? So it looks like they've gotten the delivery, but, uh, you know, some critical things are missing. Just to delay them in case, I don't know what they're trying to hatch here, but until we know more about their purpose and what they what they know. Oh, good discussion. What? Is this still a group? Discussion. Yeah, it yes. present. Oh, okay. Why why do you wanna fuck with our job? Let's just deliver the shit and get out of it. Why'd you give a shit about these people? Because As we said, it's an illegal thing, this uh, AI technology, and these people might be trying to construct these. You think this is AI technology? Why why'd you give a shit about other people dealing doing illegal stuff? We've done illegal stuff before. These are religious zealots though. The I've never done anything illegal, and why do you think this is AI technology? Raylan kind of speaks up, and you know, we killed some of them. Have oh, Have you forgotten that? I wasn't there for that. Yeah, no. no I well, I, I, Raylan was far away from these care. guys as possible, but I mean, we have a job that involves them. I think we should just do it with causing as little trouble as possible. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, take out some pieces that they're not going to know are missing. But, you know, they need those pieces. They most likely have manifestos in which, once they receive it, will run the entire thing through. And then be like, oh, that's missing. Well, what if we, uh... Expose it to some kind of um, electromagnetic spike that that renders it useless, or... Yeah, maybe we could sabotage it without them knowing mm. we so sabotaged it. So it's just a dud. It. Okay, Harry, I'll build an EMP. Calm down. <laughs> but Gleach is still curious. Why do you think it's AI technology? Uh, it Natasha, might not be. Natasha looked over the parts and said that uh, this, these items could be potentially used for building I what I just Natasha said. Natasha was a doctor. How does she know about this shit? I, I am a doctor. She, she interrupts and says, I am a doctor, but I also dabbled in post-tech, pre-tech, uh, some, well, some Maltech, yes, I will admit it. Why I, is it, is that a trouble to, is that a problem to you, Elliot? People who know that kind of information tend to not, not be right in the head, to be honest. Well, here's a question. Do, do I you look want to like stop? I am right in the head? I don't know, I ain't seen the crazy person yet. Is it so bad if they're trying to build an AI? Like, I understand they're re religious zealots, but... So what? Let them try. Fuck it. 
I mean, if the AI is actually an AI, it'll probably realize that. Yes, yes okay. I, I completely understand your point. Thank you for uh, everyone what? giving me their point of view. So I'd say let's just deliver the fit parts. Unless anyone has any real, real objections with that. Anyone? At this point, no? Lucy's just playing with his force field again. He's <laughs> drifted off. I've racked out my cards on the table. Bad plan. So, Elliot, try to punch me. Uh, I'd like is I just pick a card up and throw it at you. It bounces off the force field. I'll pick it back up and add it to the deck, and then go back to playing. Okay, so yeah, uh, let me take a break. I need some water, and we'll get back to the delivery. So please, Space Marine me. You got it. I'm gonna be right back too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's too much problem with delivering these items. I mean, yeah, they're potentially building an Natasha like body, but. I mean, they'd actually have to have an AI, someone like that, in the first place. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't us delivering it, then they probably would have been getting this anyway. Uh, and wait. they'll probably just get someone else to deliver it if they're like, oh, those two parts are missing? Well. I'm not sure it's so bad if they do get an AI. AI is yeah. pretty smart. I understand. Trust me, like, if they get one, they, they, it probably won't like them. Or have a really bad attitude, wait, what? I'm back. There. Okay, so, yeah, you guys are orbiting over Perilia. You were given a contact frequency to talk with this uh, this guy, Mr. James. What's the official language on this planet? Brilliant. Mandarin. Welsh. Oh, I speak Mandarin. <laughs> What, you or Leech? Leech speaks Mandarin. Okay. Leech, how about you uh, have this conversation? Yeah, I, I mean, my Mandarin's not the best, but, you know, I can probably translate. Excellent, excellent. So we call up Mr. James, did you say? Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Mr. James does not look like a brilliant native. Okay, so I try speaking in English to him. What do you say? Hello? Hello? Greetings. English, 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 English. That's how you speak English. Uh, good he's, day! He says, good evening. Is this ah, yes, good evening. the Sword of Democles? We are, in fact, the people that were told to uh, deliver some items for you, yes. Oh, good. Very good. Uh, I believe that the goods are intact, yes? Yes, the goods are intact. Very well. Um, I will give you the coordinates for a landing pad. Uh, the landing fee will be on me, of course. If uh, the... Materials are in a satisfactory condition. Excellent, excellent. We'll be coming down on our uh, lighter soon. Very well. 
So, who's going down? I'll go down. Yeah, I'll go with you. I think someone should probably stay with Natasha. And Mapuchin calls not it for going down. Okay, Mapuchin, you can stay on board with Natasha. I don't think Natasha should come down just in case. Who's flying? Me or Valen? You choose. Valen, can I fly? Fuck okay, it, I'm flying then. <laughs> you need the practice. I bring a full load out, by the way. Okay. Do we know the laws on this planet for things such as that? Uh, heavy armor is you know, heavy armor. You know, super advanced armor is forbidden. Yes. Uh, weapons, not so much. They are very liberal with their law, with their gun law. So, would they know if we were wearing shields? Yes, because the field emitters aren't uh, subtle. They are, you know, like a small exoskeleton around you, I would, I would say. Okay. Uh, then I'll just go in my normal gear, which I think is... Yeah, it says here, these complex exoskeletal Com energy arrays. Mm. Combat field uniform, that's allowed then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's I'm going down in my combat field uniform. Fine. Yeah, I'll just um, do the combat field uniform as well. Okay. So Unless we're going to like weapons. the middle of nowhere or something. Uh, the coordinates uh, point you to a pretty heavy uh, business center you know big big city big big city okay well then that's fine with me uh, people come down uh, leech rail uh, sorry uh, the boy and me okay uh, do you guys do anything to the parts before you go no Okay. Unless anyone wants to put like a tracker on them or anything like that. A jerk off so on them. So we know exactly where they go. You jerk off on them, excellent. <laughs> Leech seed. <sighs> okay. Uh, you guys fly down to the landing pad. Uh, as you guys, uh, you know, look out, you see what you see, Mr. James, because he appeared to you on the hologram, along with a crew of six people. All of them, okay. uh, all of them have, you know, sidearms on their hips. Uh, some of them are looking at compads. You know, stand up fair. Uh, anyone that's uh, down there, if you want, you can roll Perception. I'll give it a go. What's that? Perception. Wisdom. Perception with Wisdom. My Wisdom's 12. So that's a plus think. zero. My Perception is minus one. I'm just rolling minus one then. Mm-hmm. Okay, Elliot, do you do the perception test, or do you just don't care? Oh shit, no, I'm not paying too much attention, to be honest, like, I'm just, like, sitting in back. Okay. Phil, you... Uh, Albert, you kind of can make out the symbol of the New Truth uh, movement on one of the guys's... Uh, neck, like a tattoo that's covered by the collar of the shirt mm -hmm. kind of deal. Okay. You'll see like a little tip. 
I do, I do a small I do a small nod to it to draw people's attention to it to be like nothing to worry about but just know that these are new truth people. Okay. So yeah, Mr. Uh, James and his uh, people uh, walk up to the lander. He shakes hands with you, Albert, and says, uh, Mr. Eastfield, I presume? Yes, yes. Albert Eastfield. Very Pleasure. well, Mr. Eastfield. And you're Mr. James? Indeed, I am. Uh, nice my, to make acquaintance. my crew here will uh, inspect the, the cargo, and once everything has been given the green light, uh, we'll be free to go with uh, your excellent, credits. Excellent. So you did nothing wrong to the to the parts, correct? Nothing yeah. at all. Okay. So take them... on them. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Just the outside so... the boxes, I imagine. So yeah, it takes them about an hour of just searching through the boxes, looking at everything. Uh... They nod at each other, then they give the thumbs up to Mr. James. He smiles, uh, and he comes up to you, Albert, and he hands you your money, 25,000 25, uh, credits. And he says, Thank you very uh, much. my crew says that everything is in order, the parts are intact, and the delivery was expedient. So, yes, you yeah, have fine. earned this fine. money. Thank you very much. Thank you A for pleasure your... pleasure doing business with you. Likewise, thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Eastfield. May the mother guide you. And they walk off. And the father teach you good. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Do you guys want to do anything else in Prilia before you go? Probably refill. Uh, we jumped like. Did we Once. get a. Are we, are we? Where are we planning on going after this? Anyone have any plans? Depends how much we just earned. Twenty-five thousand from this half. Six ways. How, how much a person? One six 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 seven. That's how much Round it up. We just got what? Do we just get paid that much? Yes, each. Uh, yep. Four one six seven. Yes. Well, no matter where we're going, we should refuel. Okay, okay then. Is it is it just is it just four hundred if we just use one for you fuel? Or? Yes. Four hundred divided by six. Sixty-seven each. Sixty-seven each. Yes. Okay. So yeah, what is it that you guys want to do now? You have delivered parts to the new truth movement. Um, you're close to the schooner. You could jump to Florcine, maybe visit Beach's home planet. No thanks. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Okay, can we have a look for a job that would that we need to deliver something back to Gunhild? You and fucking Gunhild, you love that place to oh, bits. I just, need, just need to buy something there. <laughs> oh fuck, man. We get the best chance of buying something there. Also, Mapachin, I suggest that uh, we ask your um, contact there to get us deflector arrays instead of field emitter panoplies. They're almost the same, just uh, more concealable. Okay. Then whenever she can get us those, if we have the money, we can pick up one more from the uh, the legit sources, and we can all have both arrays in case we need to be sneaky. So you want everyone to have both sets of armor? Yeah, both the concealable one and the one that provides uh, atmosphere in space. Mm -hmm. How much does the other one cost? Same. Same. So it's a long way. I don't. I, I'll. I'll. I'll at least call her up and tell her that we're in the market for it. But. But we don't want her looking for the other one. Have you know? Be like, okay, hey. like cancel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just let her know. Yeah, be like, hey, we want the concealable ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, up. I'll update her. When you get to gun no. Yeah. So where to now, crew? Were we going to Fromia to explore? We'll see if there's anything that wants uh, needs to be delivered to Gernhild, and then uh, we'll go and hold to Fromia. Unless anyone has any other decisions. Uh, Prelia doesn't seem to be in the market for anything right now. Okay, right, let's get our jump on. Okay, it is the 25th of April as you get to the edge of the system. Uh, do we need to go to Gunhill? Like, uh, hold on. I might need to pop Gunhill to advise to pick some shit up. To get to Fromia, you would need to get to Gunhild. Cool. Yeah. So yes, you're unless, going to get that car. Unless we want to go around. If you want to go around, but that's, please that's be my guest. No. Okay, so not in a hurry this time, so it's just a minus one, so I... It's plus two. You put a plus two, yes. You, you do it smooth sailing to Gunhill. Six days. So as you get to Gunhill, it is the fir first of first May. May. Yeah. Fucking outside. I need to translate the name of the month from Portuguese to English. I understand what you're doing. Is it not similar? Yes. But it's, but still, sometimes I blank out. So, six days of doing fuck all in, in a ship with the same people every day. Most of the time... I spend myself my, my time in my room uh, with uh, the the me hologram, mm -hmm. just looking over myself. Okay. Admiring, admiring my curves. <laughs> why is there pan Why is his pants off? Because oh, that's one of the pictures <laughs> we took, right? <laughs> this is a hard it. light hologram. Oh. Now, if only you could touch a hologram. <laughs> My next invention. Yeah, Leech. Six days of stuff. Are you still playing with a new toy? It never gets old. Really? What is no, it you... new? What do you find new? What thing do you find to do? 
what new thing do you find to do? You know, you know how it like perfectly yeah, it, it it goes over us or all of our like folds and stuff of our body, right? Perfectly. It forms a bubble around. Okay, you. let so let's let's imagine we put a flat thing on each of our stomachs, all three of us, and stood at perfect angles and then fired a bullet in so it bounced off each of us in a triangle. Uh huh. Could we do that? See how long it bounces for. Take bets, the rest of the team. Does Mapuching join in on the on these games? Yeah, well, the group games, yeah, but she doesn't do any playing with it on her own. Okay. Wouldn't the bullet form on the first hit and therefore the second angle that it would bounce off be very different? Yeah, that's why we're taking that's why we're taking bets on how many times it would bounce. Once. Oh. Mythbusters did this. They got like four bounces with oh, really? like a solid surface. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because the angle the angle of exit is equal to the angle of entry, I believe. Depending on how the field interacts with the bullet, you can yeah, get a lot of bounces. Depending on how it does. If you if you want the maximum bounces, you just depressurize depressurize the room as well. Well, yeah. I don't know. Someone roll me to d20 in a depressurized environment. Leech. Got awesome rolls. It bounces 25 times. There. Happy. Very nice. <laughs> Kids. I probably prank Elliot a couple times by like walking up behind him with a stun grenade. The pin pulled, just detonate a stun grenade next to him. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when do you do it? And what day do you do it? Because he's going to take damage. Oh, I think he means inside the field, or... No, with the grenade outside the field. What did you mean exactly, Leech? Stun grenade, right? Yeah, it's just a little... St oh, does stun damage, like, actually cause... I thought it just, like, healed off in a day. You heal it off. But, you know, you on take damage... Day. Come on. No. If you take damage, you know, and you go to zero, you're out cold. Oh, it's not like Shadowrun where there's a difference between stun and no, no, lethal? No, no, um, no, then... there's no difference. <sighs> then I won't flashbang him. <laughs> Thank you. I did find some new grenades and new grenade rules. I might change them again. Fun rules for smoke grenades. Yeah. Yeah, they fuck up uh, laser weapons, right? Yep. Uh, Although there's artifact laser weapons that don't give a fuck. Maybe there's artifact laser weapons that don't, don't give a fuck. Well, then they're not lasers. Am I, right? I don't know. Laser I don't know. Well, it just could just be that it has, like, two things, you know what I mean? It has one thing that clears a tiny little pathway for the laser, and then the laser shoots or something. Yeah, it could be. Like a little force field, I don't know. It's space. Mm -hmm. So Leech spends six days playing with this force field. Albert, besides looking at yourself, do you do anything else? Uh... See, I just walk around the ship, see if I bump into anyone, see how the boy is doing. You do machine. bump into people. Yeah. Did anyone ask me any questions or anything? Mappuccine talks to you about style. <laughs> do you not like my style? It is the height of style on the car dice. Well, that's that's He's what I ask. Like, I, that's what I ask. Like, is this like Cardice style? Yes. I'm keeping on top of the uh, 
the latest fashion trends in Cordice. Well, that's the only thing we do in uh, when it's the dancing season is off. Dancing season? Are you a good dancer, Albert? I've been known to uh, trip the light fantastic a few times. Do you have trophies? I do have trophies, not for my dancing, more for oh. my hunting. That's how he got that hat. <laughs>